Hello everybody, it's uh, Mr. Ross here. Just another video for our YouTube channel, just going over a few more additional options uh, that you may want to be using this week to upload your homework to your teachers. Now, some of the things I'm going to be going through, uh, some pupils and parents as well have actually been using these features, but I just wanted to share it with everybody now that everybody's getting a little bit more uh, used to all of the features that are available. Um, so, one of the tasks that you'll be set this week is some form of art task. So I've just, for example, gone into a um, classroom that I've created, 5CR, and as you'll see under the homework topic section, there is an art task. So I've gone, just so you know, this is what the home page for your classroom will look like, but I've just clicked into classwork to find my homework. So I'm going to click my art task, and I'm going to go to view assignment. So once I'm viewing the assignment here, I've just been instructed by my teacher to draw a character from a book that we've been reading in class. Uh, this teacher here has also included a video uh, from YouTube just to help if sometimes, for example, you might find drawing a little bit difficult. So there's just a video just to give you a few tips to complete your activity. Now we'll notice to the right hand side, there's nothing actually at the moment to hand in. All it just gives me is the option to add or to mark as done. Now, because it's an art task, we'll be asking you to draw some form of picture and then actually handing that in. So for this art task that's been set, for example, you'd be using a piece of paper as you normally would, pencils, uh, coloring pencils, etc., etc., and then creating your drawing. And then once you've finished, as it sort of mentions in the instructions here, you just need to take a picture of your picture of the, what you have created and then once you've done that you would have to just pop it on your or laptop uh, or your PC for example and then once on there you would just click the add or create button here and then you would find the file of the picture that you have taken so I'm just going to click file and we're going to go to upload I'm just going to find on my PC where my picture is. Now, my picture is called Yan because that's the person that I've been drawing. So I'm going to have Yan picture. I'm going to press open. And then it's going to upload my picture. Just give it a minute to load. And you can sort of see a little thumbnail with the picture that I've drawn. If I click it, I can just check the picture. So I'm happy that's the, the picture that I've taken of the drawing that I've created. And I want to hand that into my teacher. So that's just a double check that it's there. And then I can just hand it in. Now, if, for example, you want to hand in your piece of work on a mobile phone, for example, which actually may be a bit useful here. So hopefully you would have downloaded the Google Classroom app because you can also do work via that. However, um, when you get to this section, for example, on a mobile device, when I'm on a laptop, it gives me these options. But if I'm on, a, for example, a mobile device, um, it would give me a few more options. For example, here, this is just on my mobile, just a screenshot of my mobile. I can attach, uh, for example, a link or a file, as I've just shown you, but I, don't, I can also just take a photo. So, for example, if I'm on my phone, I just click this, take a photo, I can take a photo of my picture, and then once that's done, it will give me the option again just to, the picture will just be there, and then I will just hand it in. So those are the two, for example, different ways that you can hand in a picture of your homework task. So that's one of the options that you can use. I know, for example, in year one, they've been using that option um, to take pictures of work that they've been doing, little sentences for, I think it was a three little pigs task, which is great, and then handing it in uh, with a picture. So that's just uh, why that function could be useful. The second, if I just go back to my another one of my homework tasks, is an English task that I have. I'm just going to open this up here. And the task just asked me to summarize a chapter that I've been reading um, in class. So I've been sent by my teacher a Google Doc worksheet. And it says here, I'm going to use this document to summarize what happened in chapter three of The Silver Sword. Now, uh, this function may be particularly useful for our younger pupils, but there is a function on Google uh, Docs where you can actually speak into the computer uh, rather than having to type it out, which for some uh, typing can take some time. So this is just an extra and a useful few, uh, addition that you can use. I'm just going to go to Tools and then go to Voice Typing. 
Once I've clicked that, you'll see a little sort of microphone icon up here. And once I click it, it says click to speak. I'm just going to allow my microphone. Now, once I start talking, everything that I'm saying into the computer, it will literally be dictated onto the Word document or the Google document, I should say, so that I actually don't have to type anything. So currently I'm not typing. So if I was to complete this task um, using this feature, I would just summarize chapter three. And then once I'd finished, I would just click the microphone icon again. Now, when I'm speaking, obviously it's not dictating, but all of my, for example, work would be there. Uh, there's no need to save because it automatically saves. So once I'm happy with that, I would then just hand in my um, document to my teacher without having to type anything um, at all. But I've just used my voice instead. Hopefully you find those two functions useful for this week's homework task and future tasks. I hope you have fun with Google Classroom and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.